You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. With your host, Shauna Williams. Shauna is here to provide various forms of healing that are non evasive, that promote relaxation and aid the body in naturally healing itself by using ancient healing techniques that have been around for centuries. So please welcome the host of Healing at Soul Level, Shauna Williams. Good morning. Hello, and welcome to Healing at Soul Level. I'm your host, Shauna Williams, and we're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Today's guest, Diana Rowe, is a 500-hour registered yoga teacher. She's also the owner and operator of Diana's School of Yoga, where she and her instructors teach a variety of classes, including Thai yoga therapy, which is an ancient system of body work that combines yoga and Ayurveda to increase joint mobility, muscular flexibility, circulation, and stress, excuse me, and reduce stress. Welcome to the show, Diana. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm so glad you're here. I am interested about this Thai yoga, but um, first tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, uh, I started out uh, teaching aerobics while I was a human resource manager for a Fortune 500 company, and uh, I had gone through a training, and they had said, you know, after 15 minutes of abdominal work, you don't really get any other extra, any benefits from it. So they told me they wanted me to teach a 30-minute ab class, and I was like, well, you just told me after 15 minutes you're just not (laughs) doing anything. I said, well, then do some stretches. And those famous last words led me on the journey where I'm, I am today. I started looking up stretches, and everything kept pointing to yoga. So I started taking yoga classes, and the next thing you know, I was getting yoga trainings, and it just changed my life. Wow. Oh, so you've always been into doing healthy type of exercises, huh? You know, and uh, I didn't really start until I was uh, almost 40. Before oh. then, um, yeah, I not, no, that's not true, because I remember there was Cosmopolitan Lady. So I went there, and uh, but, but as a young girl, I didn't really want to do any type of physical activity. I just wanted <laughs> to look and play with dolls. So, All right. <laughs> Know me from really young or kind of shocked that I'm in a field where I'm actually moving. But mm-hmm. anyway, <laughs> that's the way it goes. Well, that's the way it works sometimes, and I get that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so then um, after you finished doing your classes, then you um, you got reg or you, how did you you know become a teacher? Well. Um, after I started studying about, uh, you mean how did I become a yoga teacher or, or a Thai yes. yoga practitioner? Uh, yoga, yoga teacher, teacher in general. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, after I started reading about it and doing, I did those 15 minutes of stretching. And, you know, as a aerobics instructor, I got injured at least once a year. And people who exercise a lot, that tends to happen because you're mm-hmm. overusing your muscles. And so injuries, sprains, and Different uh, things happen. So after I started doing just this 15 minutes of yoga, I noticed that my balance was better. I was not getting injured. And so I just started exploring it more and more and more. Every time I went out of town, I would take yoga classes, and I just fell in love with it. Wow. Yeah, I've, I've taken um, 
yoga before and I've also taken your aerial yoga class and that was wonderful. I really like that class. <clears throat> yeah, that's amazing. So, yeah. So how did you get into the Thai yoga? You just, do you just, is it different teachers well, for different types or how does that work? Well, and you know, you, we don't really teach, I noticed in the, I didn't really notice it before. I'm sorry, but we don't mm-hmm. teach Thai yoga in, in my studio. I do Thai yoga therapy when people set appointments with me. So it takes a lot of training to be able to do this. I started my training, my first training in Thai yoga was in 2008. And I started my yoga training in uh, about 1995 or 1996. So um, after I you know, going back to the yoga, I started feeling better. I was not getting injured anymore. So then I decided, well, I'm just going to learn how to teach it. And as a matter of fact, uh, there was the YW, the YMCA ran the aerobic center where I worked. And so I was actually the first person to bring yoga to the downtown YMCA in uh, downtown Fort Worth. So it was pretty uh, new at the time in this area of Texas, I'm sure in Austin they had been doing it for eons, Mm -hmm. but here there were very many places that offered yoga. Okay, so now I'm realizing, so I only knew that you offered the classes. I didn't realize that you did teach them. Do you teach them in your studio as well, or am I getting this confused? Well, do I teach yoga? Yes. Yes. It's, okay. not, it's just called Mama School of Yoga because I kind of feel like anybody who is interested in yoga should know enough about it that they can become teachers too. But I don't have a teacher training at all. It's just by learning how to correctly move your body in yoga, oh. how to feel in yoga, which helps every single person who comes into my studio have a deeper understanding of what is actually happening when we practice yoga. Okay, I get that. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, you don't want somebody to come in there and they don't understand anything that they're doing. So I get that. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so tell me a little bit more about the origins of yoga or Thai yoga. Either one of those is fine. Okay, well, you know, yoga is <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Some people say 5,000 years. Some people say 2,000 years. It's, there are hieroglyphs in Egypt that show people doing yoga. So wow. In, yeah, it's a very ancient practice, and mm-hmm. it came about from men's wanting to and women wanting to understand how their bodies work. And they went into this field and, and uh, began to understand the you know, they knew how the blood went in and out of the heart and how circulation worked before there was ever even a thought in anybody's mind about autopsies or opening the body up and seeing how these things work. These people sat and contemplated and mm-hmm. understood the mechanics of the body just from being quiet and listening, looking at nature around them and emulating that and trying to bring that into their own body, mind, and spirit. Oh, see, that's so calming just to think about it that way. That's... Yeah. Yeah, that's a... That's pretty deep. (laughs) Very deep. And then the Thai yoga. uh, In Thailand, they were doing a type of of body work using acupressure. Uh, And then... uh, the, the the physician of the Buddha, uh, Jivanka, was mm-hmm. traveling through Asia, and, and this is the way that we were taught. And then he, he saw what they were doing, and he combined yoga with that practice. Oh, okay. Well, this is very interesting. I can't wait to learn a little bit more, but we're going to take a quick break, and we will be right back. 
Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305 705 3428 or email her at Renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. Okay, welcome back to Healing at Soul Level. I'm your host, Shauna Williams, and we're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We have been talking to Diana Rowe from Diana School of Yoga, and she has been talking to us about Thai yoga and the origins of yoga in general. So, Diana, um, something that people, would, lots of people like to know is, is yoga a religion? No, it is not. As a matter of fact, it's as far from religion as as you could imagine. It, back in the in ancient times when yoga first uh, was was starting out, the people who were in religion uh, were in religious groups were actually against yoga because they yoga was teaching that God resides within you. You don't get it in a building. You don't have to do anything to have it. It's just something that we all are part of. And they didn't really like that kind of talk. But mm-hmm. that's just, it's, yoga is very spiritual, but it's not a religion at all. It doesn't, you can be any religion or not have any religion and still be able to gain benefit from this practice. Yep, that sounds about right then, because that's how this show works. Is it, you know, it, it's about, um, spiritual healing and so i know yoga is very healing for the body as you said yeah um i also saw that thai yoga is also like part of ayurveda could you explain ayurveda to people yes yeah, so ayurveda actually ayurveda. precedes it precedes at the actual yoga practice itself and it also is a precursor for modern uh medical science so it was the first time, mm-hmm. Ayurveda means the state of life. And so this was the first time that people started exploring how the body works and what herbs and, and oils and things help to heal the body. And uh, through trial and error, they just started, you know, experimenting and finding out how to get the body to work uh, in its best form. And that's how and what Ayurveda means and what it stands for is just the study of how our body reacts to our environment and things that we can do that can strengthen us. Like uh, many times when people think about Ayurveda, they, they know about the doshas, the pitta, the kapha, and the vata. And mm-hmm. these are imbalances in the body. And Ayurveda goes in deep into that and says, well, then if you've got too much of this, then it means you probably shouldn't be eating these types of food, or you need to add these to your diet. These are the types of yoga exercises that will work best for you. 
These are the types of oils that you can apply that can give you some balance for the imbalances that you might be experiencing right now in your life. So okay. it can be in a holistic manner. I'm sorry, that first that last part got a little blurred. What did you say? I said that Ayurveda teaches you how to heal your body on a, in a holistic way, working with okay. not just finding out what's wrong with you know what what caused you know what caused this disease in your body. What are you doing that is 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 taking away prana from your from your healing, and so. That's basically how that works, like our true mind, body, spirit connection. And for people that don't know, prana is like your the healing energy, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah so I, um, I always say things a little off. So it's Ayurveda or Ayurveda. It's it's you know one of one. You know, tomato, tomato. <laughs> I, I say Ayurveda too. And, okay. Um, it's Ayurveda, though, because okay. in Sanskrit it would be Ah. Uh, so you're right. Okay, Ayurveda. Okay, yeah, because I um actually went online and took my dosha, and found out that um I was so when you're when they tell you that you're a certain dosha, that means that that's where your imbalance is, correct? And so that you have yeah. to do things to balance back out so that you have an even of the all three of them. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. So a lot of yes. people say, I'm pitta. Well, you actually should say, I'm a pitta imbalance. So I tend to be imbalanced in this fiery range. And I need to mm -hmm. learn how to cool that off. So that's exactly right. Okay, okay. And, and so Man, then how that incorporates into, beg your pardon? No, no, go ahead. Okay, and so that type of of uh, of of idea is is also integrated into Thai yoga as well. Thai yoga is a combination of yoga, acupressure, and Ayurveda. So Ayurveda, so that we use oils during a Thai session in different areas of the body. We are looking for uh, and seeking out blocks in the body through using the acupressure and stretching the body and so that people can come back into balance after a tar session as well. So it's a very intense type of body work. Mm -hmm. uh, some people will think it's a massage and then they're surprised when they find out, oh, I wear yoga clothes, I lay on a mat, and you're going to be stretching me. And, you, and I use my hands, feet, elbows, and knees to press, in, press into the sin lines, which are very similar to the meridian lines. So acupuncture follows the meridian lines, and mm -hmm. Thai follows the sin lines, S-E-N. Now, I've heard of the meridians, of course, because I, I deal with that sometimes with uh, some of my Reiki and stuff, but the sin lines, it, it, is it basically about the same, but just in different areas? Or how, how does that, is that in points, or is that also lines yes. through your body? Almost exactly the same, except one is coming from traditional Chinese medicine and the other is coming from traditional Thai medicine. So oh, these okay. places are really close together. So they are almost exactly the same line. Some of them are more or less not the same, but they're following mm -hmm. that same path. So uh, like, for instance, if you get a massage, then your muscles are being massage and you get some kind of release from your ligaments and tendons, but Thai is releasing all that tension through the sand line. We're pressing on the sand lines and then it releases blocks in the body so your body can heal itself. Uh, because of that, the effects of a Thai session will last six to eight weeks. Whereas mm. if you get a massage, you feel great, but it doesn't last six to eight weeks. It feels good, and I'm not saying, you know, I, I love massages right. too. But if you're right. really looking to get a change in your body, you would do well to get a Thai session. Okay. Well, we're going to learn a little bit more about this when we come back. But right now, we need to go to a break. Stay tuned. Do you battle with weight loss? 
there is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Essential Nutrients LLC is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Welcome back. I'm your host, Shauna Williams, and this is Healing at Soul Level. We're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We left off, we were talking about Thai yoga with Diana Rowe from Diana School of Yoga. Okay, Diana, tell me some more about this Thai yoga. Well, um, it, uh, it's, it's been around for a, ver- a really long time as well. And again, we're talking about the Buddhist physician is the, the one who started spreading uh, this practice throughout uh, Asia, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, going from Thailand all the way back to India and how uh, people were able then to find relief and uh, find a way of of healing from injuries Uh, and just healing of physical and emotional healings is something else that can happen during a Thai session. It's you know, because it's it's done one on one, and so the practitioner and the and the person, the client, you have mm-hmm. a symbiotic relationship because the tie is very. It, for me, it's important the the touch that mm-hmm. I'm always in contact with what this person is feeling and how do I go about helping to release any tension or stress that's in the body. And so basically it is it is a body work type of situation. Uh, you're either going to be sitting, lying down, either on your back or on your tummy. You'll be on your sides. And then we end up working every single part of the body, even the, even the head and your scalp. We're working mm-hmm. everything. And a lot of uh, times... You know, just really simple things can really mean a lot in helping you find a balance in your system. Um, so the the Buddha's physician was around during the 5th century. And so all of this stuff is just happening. It's just something that's been going on for a very long time. At one point... Uh, I think Thailand was uh, invaded by Burma, and they destroyed all of the all of their records, all of their medical things, all of their Thai medicine. They destroyed all of that because that's you know when you get invaded, they try mm-hmm. to break you down on a very cellular level. And so for a long time, the practice of Thai just really only existed in a very small, small way where some people who were still way up in the mountains still practiced it, but as a general practice, it kind of lost its way after that. 
But then mm-hmm. uh, probably about 500 years ago, someone uncovered a cave and it had all of the tie diagrams in it. And so it came back again. So it was there and then it came back. And so now we have this modern expression of, of Thai yoga. So, uh, and man, am I happy to have found it. I, yes. I remember in my first 500, tra- 500 hour training, we were talking about partner yoga where two people do yoga together. And then they explained that that came from Thai yoga uh, therapy. And I was like, well, what is this? And so I was always curious about what it was. And then when I um, went for uh, another training during my 500 hours, there were some women there that were doing it. And I was like, I have got to find out how to get this done and how I can. I was just so drawn to it. And I knew mm-hmm. it was something that would be play an important part in my life. So I just stepped out on the limb, plucked my little money down, and headed mm-hmm. off to Ohio, California, and <laughs> stayed in a yurt and got my training, my first training. Wow. So you know, that I've was been wild. hearing about yurts, so that's, that's really cool. That seems really... So um, I, I'm actually thankful that they were able to find that as well, because like you said, they things get destroyed, but some people within these groups find a way to um, hide. I mean, you can find so much mm-hmm. ancient scriptures in all of these different caves and all of these areas around the world. <laughs> yes, so, yes. And okay. so there it was, all diagrammed out. And uh, showing where the sin lines were so we know where to work and what does this mean. I mean, just very simple things. I know that uh, when, uh, like, there are certain pressure points that you can, meridians or sin lines that you can press that can help women in menopause, help women in labor. There's certain things that happen. I've had people who had... uh, shoulders that were locked up and after one session bam it's gone Mm -hmm. because it's just uh the relationship between the body and the sin lines is the same as the meridian lines you're not just pressing in that one area it's related to something else always and then the release just comes from letting these blocks go so it's, it's pretty amazing I realized that um, I was asking, was it the same as Meridian so that I can have an understanding, but some of our listeners may not even know what Meridian lines are as well. So could you explain a little bit about what these lines are and how they kind of work within the body? Just a little okay. bit. Okay. You know. I do, because, well, yeah, it really, you have to almost go to medical <laughs> school to really explain it. So yeah. as far as I can, there are thousands of, energetic lines that go throughout the body. As a matter of fact, they've been able to map them so that they actually do exist. So Mm -hmm. there are these energetic lines that are going throughout your body and certain areas of these lines are connected to every single part in your body. Like if you go and get reflexology done, this is where they press lines on your feet. And from Mm -hmm. these lines in your feet, they can affect every single part of your body. Like the inside of your big toe going down on the inside mm-hmm. is related to your upper spine. So um, uh, many times people have just thought, oh, this is just some kind of, you know. Woo-woo, hoodoo something. <laughs> woo <Woo-woo laughs> right? stuff, hoodoo. It's not yeah. really true. And now they're finding, yeah, we see the energy, we see these energy lines that are having this frequency around the areas where they set the meridian lines and the sin lines lay. So they're not just woo-woo, they're actual Mm -hmm. physical things that can be seen now because of these high imaging uh, machines that we have now. So although these people who have used it have known all along that it was serious. I mean, you see people have an open heart surgery after just, have an acupuncture, and that's the only anesthesia they have. So it's a real thing. It's not just woo-woo. Okay, well, we are going to take a quick break on that note, and we will be right back. 
animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Leip is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Leip's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Baby boomers face many challenges, and sometimes you have to reinvent yourself in order to stay on top. Sharon Ball, nurse practitioner and Christian life and wellness coach, can help. Sharon has written a book called Reinventing Yourself Today, and it can help you through the pangs of changing the course of your life. Whether you are looking to stay on track with new goals, a sensible program to help you shed unwanted pounds, or a full kick-butt life reinvention, Sharon can work with you. Follow your passions and live each day according to your dreams and free yourself from the expectations of others. Sharon comes from the heart and shares her own personal journey to reinvention with her clients. Other self-help books inspired her, but few gave her the steps to improve her life, so she created a plan that works. Stress no more. Let Sharon Ball open the door. Sign up for a complimentary life reinvention consultation today at tinyurl.com forward slash get started for free for more of what life has in store. Hello and welcome back to Healing at Soul Level. I'm your host, Shauna Williams, and we're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I'm sorry I almost said my maiden name, but I've been married for 20 years, so my husband would probably kill me if I did that. Anyway, we were talking to Diana Rowe about uh, Thai yoga and yoga in general. And uh, so I wanted to know a little bit more about how or what's involved in a Thai yoga session. Okay, well, as I had alluded to earlier, you wear the same kind of things you'd wear to exercise in or you do yoga in because um, some people actually call it lazy man's yoga because while you're sitting or lying there, I'm stretching your body in different yoga postures. And while I'm stretching your body in these different yoga postures, I would then be pressing on the sin lines uh, using my hands, feet, elbows, and knees. Uh, it's really kind of amazing how, you know, I could touch one part of your body and you feel the pressure. I could go one step below that and you might feel like I just put a, you know, something really, a needle pressing into you. It's so sharp. Oh. So it just all depends on where your imbalances are. A lot of times, as a matter of fact, uh, while you're sitting or standing, I'm using my hands, I'm using my feet and my elbows. And really one of the most surprising things is that my feet are even more sensitive than my hands. And I guess that probably has to do with how in reflexology you can feel everything through the bottom of the feet. So I feel a lot of things in people's bodies through the you know, while I'm pressing on them with my feet, I actually feel different things releasing and and uh, wow. getting, uh, uh, like if I'll feel a, a knot, and then I feel the knot release. Or I'll feel vibration in the body. Mm-hmm. I'll feel bubbles popping. So all of these kind of things are happening in the body as I'm using the acupressure. And then after that happens, then people have this amazing release. And you can almost tell immediately that something has happened. So while you're sitting there or laying there, then I have different uh, areas that I work with. And I can do anywhere from an hour session to a three-hour session. So it just depends on how long you want to work now. When you finish, you know, it's like yoga times 10. So not only am I stretching your body out in yoga postures, I'm pressing all those meridian lines so that you're going to really, really start having this amazing experience. 
And there'll be people who can't touch their toes, for instance. And after a tie session, I've done, you know, we've worked on their hamstrings and, and their lower back, and lo and behold, they're now touching their toes just that soon after the session. So, so you don't have to I be use diff- flexible. You don't have no, to be flexible. No, you do not have to be flexible. You, As a matter of fact, uh, some of the, my best results have come from people who have – little flexibility and then after getting tie sessions on a regular basis then they they find that they have the flexibility and they keep it well after the session is over with um we use oils uh we'll you know work on people's feet and then we use oils on the bottom of their feet i use specific types of oils uh grapeseed oils almond oil uh just working with different people, uh, you know, trying to keep their doshas balanced as well. I also mm-hmm. use essential oils as well, where uh, let them inhale the, you know, essential oils or, you know, rub them on their temples. And these, let that kind of work into everything else that's going on as well when we're during the session itself. Oh, that's great. You know, just to help Diana out, listeners, uh, get a pedicure before you come to her class. (laughs) (laughs) You don't have to have a pedicure. (laughs) Hey, I'm just trying to help the sister out. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, I will be working on your feet. So, Mm -hmm. but I'll be working on uh, your fingers, Mm -hmm. your toes. I mean, everything. There's even one part where you... I take my fingers in close to your scalp and then just squeeze the hair. So it's kind of like it stimulates the scalp and it's really, really good if you have a headache. So Mm -hmm. there's just so much that's happening in a tie session. Uh, Mm -hmm. The if, you know, if I get a two hour tie session, I'll be able to get every single area, all 10 blocks that they say we have in the body can get released in a two-hour session. If it's just a one-hour session, I have to be very specific. Like one of the first (laughs) questions I'll ask is like, what's going on in your body today? How can I help you? What do you want to see happening? And from that information, I'll then design out the sequence that I'll use for that particular person. Okay, so I need to set a two-hour appointment for my husband then. (laughs) (laughs) And just make it a gift. (laughs) Yeah, and, and, you know, if you get a two-hour yoga session, the next day you're going to be kind of sore, and the same thing will happen in Thai. You'll feel a little muscle sore, and it's like you've worked out. And sometimes this is a concern for people because, you know, they get massages, and they're not sore the next day. Well, sometimes you get deep tissue massage, and you can be sore, but it's a different type of sore. You actually right. feel like, and, and it is, because your muscles are contracted. From mm-hmm. just living your everyday life, the muscles contract, 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 then that's where injuries lie. And so you go in in a tie session, and it's like you're kneading out those contracted muscles, elongating them back out so they can, they can function the way that they were meant to function, elongated, released, and relaxed. Yeah, that sounds wonderful, though. It really does. Um, well, so can I you love have a tie session. Can you have like a healing crisis um, where, um, I guess I I should say more like a detoxification happen whenever you have Thai yoga? Yes, exactly. And it it does happen. And we, you know, of course we want you to, you have to drink lots of water when you finish. So there's a detoxification that happens. And then there's also a wicking away. A lot of times if people have really serious injuries in their body, when I start touching them, even if I'm not doing anything strenuous, I'll start sweating. And, you know, I, when my teacher told me originally my first training in 2008 mm-hmm. that we're, it's an exchange of energy. And in my head I was thinking, yeah, right, this is just, I doubt that that's really an actual thing that's going to happen. And then I found out, oh, yeah, it's an it's an actual thing that yeah. happens. And when I, when I finish, it's important for me to wash my face and my arms off in cold water so I don't retain that. And uh, okay. I had a well, talk session with you. a woman. Let me stop you right there. She, so that we can take a okay. – let me – 
We need to take a quick break and we'll get back and we'll start back with, right with this. Introducing BetterHomeAndGarden.com. That's www.BetterHomeAndGarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. BetterHomeAndGarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, BetterHomeAndGarden.com. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor covering, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Stapula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapula strives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Welcome back to Healing at Soul Level. I'm your host, Shauna Williams, and we're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We've been talking to Diana Rowe today about Thai yoga, and we left off talking about an exchange of energy and what happens to her and what happens to the client during Thai yoga. So what were we saying, Diana? I was saying that... um... When I'm working on people and they have different imbalances, I had, for instance, I had one woman and I was just holding her wrist and moving her arm back in three different directions, you know, just moving it out. And I was barely moving her. And then all of a sudden, I just copious amount of sweat just started pouring over me. And I was like, um, do you have anything going on with this shoulder over here? And she goes, you know, I just found out. I have a I have a a curve in my spine at the top. They call it kyphosis, and mm. uh, and I was like, oh really? And so I was working on that area of her body just by moving her arm. I was working on that part of her spine, and sweat just started pouring off of me. And after we were done, she started that shoulder that had been hurting her because of the curve in her spine and upper back. It was gone. So it's just that that happened and they said that that would happen but I just didn't see how that could even be possible and right. so he had mentioned to us that you know make, if there is this is happening so after you finish the talk session it's really important to rinse your hands wash your faces off so that you don't retain that one time I didn't do it and the next day I felt like I had the flu and I mm-hmm. thought oh god I'm sick and then then later on in the afternoon, there was nothing. So I thought, oh, my God, did that happen because I didn't rinse off yes. my face and arms? <laughs> so it was like, uh, you know, I don't know if it was a coincidence. I just don't take any chances. So I just make sure <laughs> that I, I take care of that before I move on to the next person. No, that's definitely a thing because when I uh, perform Reiki on somebody, um, I have to wash my hands to cut the Reiki connection or or else I can continue to feel because I can feel people's bodies pains whenever um, I'm doing Reiki. And if I don't wash my hands, then later on that night or even the next day, I'll continue to feel their pains in those exact same areas. So it is definitely a real thing. (laughs) It is. It didn't say, you know, it sounds crazy, but it really isn't. So, you know, they say the power of touch and the healing hand. These are, this is, this is truth. 
So, yes. I mean, it's, and it's all about intention. When you're, when I'm doing tie on people, I stay mindful of the work that is coming through me. It's not exactly me doing all this work. I'm, I'm facilitating a release for you to release your own uh, pain and injury. And so I, tr- I stay mindful of that. I keep my intentions pure. I will say words of, of, of thanksgiving and gratitude. I pray that this person stays well and that the universe is looking out for them. So it's a really wonderful connection that I have with people. The ability to see people come in injured and walk out healed is amazing and knowing that I had that I had a hand in helping that happen is very gratifying for me. Oh yeah. That is wonderful. I mean to help other people be able to feel better. I I know how that feels. It does. It's 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 like a high, <laughs> right? Yeah. It feels really good to be able to help someone and uh, I have people that get, you know, regular sessions, and they say this is like, this is part of their health regimen. This is something that they have to do in order to stay healthy. They come back every, some people come every other week, some people come every week, but people are getting the benefits from it. Those who who want to, you know, who want to get this type of body work done. And like I said, it's it's not, you know, it's intense. And I have mm-hmm. to teach people how to do yoga breathing so that they can manage their, their how strong it feels in their own body. Okay. So they also, as you said earlier, still get a lesson as well as to how to do certain things. And uh, does that yeah. help them, like, breathe through any other pain? Like if they're at home in between sessions mm-hmm. and something happens, they yeah. can breathe through that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can, and I mean, I mean, we people have been doing it on a mask for years, and then you come in and you find out that the way you breathe has a lot to do with your sense of well-being. A lot of times, stress breathing is is breath that emphasizes the inhalation, but the relaxing breath comes from the exhalation. And so, I teach people how to control their breath so they can exhale longer, so that the entire time I'm pressing them, they can be exhaling, which manages for them how strongly they're feeling the touch. Oh, okay. Do you have any examples of uh, how some people were healed within your session? Yeah. That you can talk I had about? Uh, one woman, yeah, I had one woman who had gotten, was trying to get prepped for implants, and she ended up getting a horrible infection, which mm. all of her sinus cavities were just filled with pus and they became hard and opaque. So her doctor told her, well, we're going to have to go in through your nose and drill all your sinus cavities out. So she called me, she said, well, can Ty help with sinus problems? And I said, well, that's what I've been told. I hadn't hadn't even been doing Ty that long at that point. So she said, well, can you give me a two hour session twice a week until I have to go back to the doctor because he said if this stuff hasn't cleared out, he's going to have to drill it out. Then I have to go back and get it drilled out again. And I'd rather see if my body can heal naturally on its own. So I said, yes, I'll do that. So we did this for a whole month, twice a week, two hour sessions each time. And when she Mm -hmm. went back to the doctor, her sinuses were completely clear. (sighs) And the doctor was like, how did this happen? He had never seen anything like that before. So uh, he's, it's, it, that's just one example of something. And, you know, I was just like, I was just as surprised as she was because I had no idea that that was a possibility that it could happen. Although in my instructions, it said it can help sinus yeah. issues. And then it happened. So that's, you know, I've had many, many examples of, Things I had one man who couldn't lift his arm all the way up because his shoulder, he had, uh, what do you call it when your shoulder gets pinched? Anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, I can't think I don't of know. it. <laughs> anyway, after one tie session, he could move his arm up. He never came back. Well, that's a good thing. You know, <laughs> if that's the only reason why you came is because you had that and I, and I helped you, then I'm saying, God bless you. I'm happy that it worked out. But, uh, it's been amazing. Oh, okay. That, you know, that's 
Yeah, I'm going to have to give this one a try too. Uh, like I said, I've tried your other service, but I need to try this as well. But we're going to take a quick break and we will be right back. Please stay tuned. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. French Rastafarian baker Chef Hugues Mott is a fourth-generation baker and has worked in 11 countries across three continents. Born in Mulhouse, France, he began apprenticing in his father's bakery at age 12 and has devoted his life to learning cultures of the world from inside kitchens across the globe. He also teaches traditional French baking by hosting demonstrations in classes, and his passion for baking is reflected in his delicious confections. With a deep respect for discipline and his Rastafarian way of life, Sheikh Uvmat exemplifies commitment to tradition and culture in a global world. Traveling extensively and combining a myriad of flavors into his recipes, Chef Ugmat brings a unique approach to baking. To read more about the French Rastafarian baker, visit www.frenchchefoug.com. That's H-U-G-U-E-S. Bon appétit and bless up. Hello and welcome back to Healing at Soul Level. We're broadcasting live from BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I'm your host, Shauna Williams. So we've been talking about Thai yoga, yoga in general. Um, this has just been a wealth of information from Miss Diana Rowe with Diana School of Yoga. And um, I want her to tell everybody how she, how we can contact her so that we can find out what other classes she has and how to get in there with her. Okay. Well, as she's, uh, as you've mentioned, Shauna, uh, my studio is called Diana School of Yoga. Uh, and my website is www.dianaschoolofyoga.com, and it's only one N in Diana and then two S's following that. Um, I'm in Grand Prairie at 925 West Pioneer Parkway. I'm in between Carrier and 161. It's really easy to get to it. And I have a, at least one class every day. We have a variety of yoga classes at our studio. We have a class Monday through Friday at noon. And then we have classes in the evening. And on Friday evenings, we have a specialty class, which Sean had mentioned, aerial yoga. So this is a class where we have parachute silks, that are hanging from the ceiling, and we do yoga postures in the aerial silks. And these aren't the ones like the Cirque du Soleil where you're climbing up one silk thing. It's like a, a it's like a, um, like a swing. swing. Mm-hmm. It's like a swing, so you're in it, and you're not that far off the ground. So, but it it really decompresses the spine and it opens things up, and it also has acupressure as a part of that because where the silks press into your underarms and your legs helps to release tension and stress there as well. Um, Then I, you know, the Thai yoga is done one-on-one, so you have to call me and schedule an appointment. I also do private yoga sessions. Some people prefer that as opposed to uh, going to a group class. And I also do corporate yoga where I go into uh, people on site and do mm. yoga for them on their job. So that's part of all of it. Oh, you do a lot. And um, I you, do. Def- <laughs> <laughs> you do. You do a lot. And please, you know, anybody, if you're in the 
Dallas-Fort Worth area, you need to check out Diana's School of Yoga um, and see see for yourself. It's very nice, um, nice floors, nice atmosphere. Um, it, it's just I get a good feeling when I walk in there. It's it's very calming. And uh, tea, do you still serve tea at the end? Yes, on the weekends I always make tea. I get I get loose teas and make my own special blend. And people are always saying you should sell this. But you know what? <laughs> I just I just I just I just whatever I feel is happening. Mm-hmm. I just make whatever. I just mix it together. Whatever. I don't have any recipes. I just go by uh, a feeling of this should be a good tea for this weekend. So. I loved tea parties when I was a little girl, so I still love tea parties as a grandmother. So that's a good thing. Yeah, I love those teas. And I thank you so much for joining me on this show today. Um, Again, to get in touch with Diana or to sign up for her classes, visit her website at Diana's with an S, schoolofyoga.com. you know, if you want to schedule a Thai yoga visit, you can uh, call her at 817-909-6544. She's also on Facebook at Diana School of Yoga. Next week, I will discuss chakras, the energy centers of the body. So uh, if you want to know a little bit about chakras, just tune in and then we will dive right in. It's a lot of information. So make sure that you are there next Friday at 9 a.m. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that we have mm-hmm. an Ayurvedic workshop coming up June 9th. So oh, that okay. should be on my website as well. Okay, check out the workshop for Diane as well. For more information on this episode or to book Reiki services and Akashic Record readings with me, visit my website at indigo-qi.com. If you have a healing modality that you'd like to share then give me an email at shauna at indigochi.com. You've been listening to Healing at Soul Level, and I'm your host, Shauna Williams. Thank you for tuning in. Love and light. This has been Healing at Soul Level with host Shauna Williams. Listen each week as Shauna will help you discover the different healing modalities and how to use them in your everyday life right here on Shauna Williams' Healing at Soul Level. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.